What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Cooking Out. Today, we're going to cook up something spooky. Something a bit weird, but hopefully it'll be delicious. Today, we're cooking scorpion fish. Alright, so scorpion fish. Uh, one of the reasons why I find this fish a bit intimidating to cook up is because it's actually one of the world's most venomous species of fish. And as you can imagine, eating something that's considered venomous can be quite intimidating. But I think one of the main things I needed to look out for was just not to spike myself on the spines. Otherwise I should be okay. Alright, so just a bit of background on this guy here. Um, I caught him out on the boat, same as when I caught the southern rock cod and the pinkies. Um, when I got him home, I actually clipped all the spines off because uh, I was a bit scared of getting pricked, so, you know, chopped them off, trying to keep me safe. I don't know if that was a smart thing to do, but I did it anyway. Yeah, so he's been in the freezer for a little bit, so he's probably not the freshest, but he should still be good to eat. Scorpion fish, also known as poor man's lobster. I'm going to make sushi out of him. I'm going to treat his flesh as if it were lobster, cook it in a similar way, and yeah, see how it goes. All right, so let's bring him over to my janky backyard sink. Give him a bit of a rinse. So he's already been gutted. I don't have to deal with that today. Just take the fillets off, and then we'll steam them. See the little, the little spine up there? And yeah, he had heaps of big fat poisonous spines up there. Quite scary. You know what? We're going to do the scaling in here. Just hoping these uh, spines don't have residual venom on them because <laughs> I've already pricked myself twice. Whoops. Okay, let's see. Let's see how we go here. Oh my goodness. It's like trying to cut through a tank. That's what happens when you don't scale it properly. It's very tough to cut through. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. comes off very easily. Beautiful. All right. So that's one fillet. If I ever do this fish again, I'll make sure to scale it properly because uh, this is tough. As you can tell, I'm a professional. Yikes. Whoa. Horrendous. Okay, so let's go do the rice and get the steamer on. Sushi rice. Then I got a wasp hanging around me. We're gonna do the rice over here. Okay, so I'm gonna be keeping these rolls fairly simple. It's just gonna be your nori sheet, rice, scorpion fish, cucumber, and avocado, and some spicy mayo as well. Wow. 
Look at that. Look at the size of that seed. Stephanie, you did well. Wow. Hmm. I didn't record any of that. Whoops, I totally just goofed. The last, I don't know, 10, 20 minutes of me doing stuff, <laughs> I hadn't recorded it. So let's see. Let's see what you might have missed. I was chopping up the extra stuff. Spicy mayo. I filleted the fish, put them in the steamer, just waiting for the water to boil. <laughs> Boiling some water. And I've done the rice. Alright, let's have a cheeky look at the fish. Ooh, not bad, looks all right. I think I've stuffed the rice, but we're gonna go with it anyway. That's how we do, we roll with the punches. Just gonna put it onto the tray here. Now this is my Homemade sushi seasoning vinegar. It's not my recipe. It's actually Taki's recipe. I'll put that link in the description for that. It is fantastic. He's fantastic. He is actually my inspiration to do this channel. So, if you have a moment, check out his stuff. Let's see what we can do with that. I reckon that fish is well steamed, so let's get it off the heat. All right, well, here goes nothing. Oh man, this rice is so sticky. That will do. Get some of this fish on there. Bit of cuke. Why not? Throw some sesame seeds on there too. All right, we did it. We cooked the scorpion fish. Well, nothing left to do but to taste it, huh? Hope I don't die. Mm. <laughs> you know, I probably should have tried should try one without anything else on it. There you go. Mm. That's good. That's some good stuff. Hmm. Who would have thought? Such a spooky fish. It tastes so good. Quite legit. The firm is nice and f the, the flesh is nice and firm. The taste, yeah, like they say, it's kind of like a mix between like fish, crab, poor man's lobster. Hmm, that is that is wild. You know, I was a bit concerned about the rice, but it actually turned out pretty good. Not too bad. I mean, it could have been better, but. It's not as bad as I was expecting it to be.
she is. All right. Well, thanks, guys, for checking out another episode of Cooking Out. This was also a really cool one to do. Pretty spooky fish, but you know, got over it, ate it, still alive. I mean, if you're seeing this video, I'm still alive, right? Because I had to upload it. But anyway, yeah, if you like what you see, like and subscribe to the channel, do all that business, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.